This is my gun collection. It is the eighth month of 2014. First, let's start at the bottom. You have a Glock automatic pistol. We have a Smith & Wesson Governor revolver, currently loaded with 410 Remington, 1,300 feet per second triple lock buckshot. You have the Diamondback 9mm right there. You see both these guns. They have a laser right there, which makes them very useful. Especially the Governor, which has a very, very nice Crimson Trace laser, which I prefer. We have the Ruger 1022, currently not wearing an optic because the optic is actually barred for the KSG. The optic's in the mail. I haven't received it yet. It's going to take another day or so. And uh, we have a 50 round BX25 magazine right there. Very nice, very nice. We of course have the famous bullpup shotgun, which is the most awesome weapon in its collection right here. It shoots just as fast as an automatic, but it's a pump. Currently slicked up with my favorite gun oil, which is cutting tool oil, made for tapping holes in solid steel. Works very well on guns. And we also have the classic and reliable single shot shotgun with a five round side saddle loaded up for hunting and a Nikon Slug Hunter optic for precision with a improved cylinder shotgun choke with muzzle brake attachment holes so it's a well-rounded collection the only thing I'm missing is a sniper rifle and that'll probably be sometime around next year maybe the third or fourth month of next year I might get around to getting one I really do a lot of research before I buy these kind of things you know you gotta make sure you get what you want because once you buy it the resale value you're not gonna get as much money as you paid for it unless of course you're talking about a KSG or a Ruger 1022 that's souped up yep very nice collection yep go to welding school make lots of money best decision I ever made